Hey guys, this is Ron. This is uh, the follow-up to Lab 20 that I promised you. Uh, basically in Lab 20, we configured up Frame Relay. Uh, and so we did uh, one of our sites to another site uh, using Frame Relay. And uh, we did it in two different manners. One, we used just the serial interface. And then in the second part of the uh, lab, we uh, did it with sub interfaces so that we could address multiple PVCs through mul through the use of multiple uh, DELCs. Okay, so I promised you that I would show you how I built the frame relay switch uh, so that you could simulate the same thing in your lab. In my case, I just have a, a cheap little router, a little Soho router that only has two uh, serial ports. Uh, and so I can only support uh, the one frame relay link. Uh, but if you have a larger router that has more serial ports on it, uh, you could use it in the same manner to address multiple uh, PVCs, multiple DELCs. Okay, so let's kind of get into it. This is the router that I used. I just enabled, uh, named it uh, ISP. Do show IP interface brief, and as you can see, there's really nothing to it. I have a fast ether port and two serial ports. And notice, uh, I don't have any IP addresses at all here. Because again, we're just a pass through here at this point. So I'll do a show run so you can see the different commands I had to put in there. First command is frame relay switching. Okay, so this is uh, enabled in uh, global configuration. So just frame relay switching. And then under my interface configuration, uh, again, I didn't add an IP address because we're just pass through. I had to do encapsulation frame relay. So that's the same exact command that we used on our routers when enabling uh, frame relay. I had to set a clock rate. And the reason for that is that inside this frame relay network, we're DCE devices, right? Because the routers out here are DTE devices and the, uh, the uh, telco's equipment is the DCE. So I have to specify a clock rate because DCE devices are going to be providing clocking. And then frame relay interface type DCE and then frame relay route right here. So route 100 interface serial 1 200. And what this does is it says if uh, frames come in labeled DELC100, I'm basically going to switch them out the other port, serial 1, and label them DELC200. And then vice versa down here, if I have uh, frames input as 200, I'm going to output them on serial 0 as DELC100. And this is how I'm able to switch between DELC100 and DELC200, okay? So I had router A, which was using DELC100, hooked up to serial 0. I had router B, which was using DELC200, hooked up to serial 1, okay? And that's it. That's all I had to, to add uh, to this router to get it to work uh, as a frame relay switch. Now, your lab might be a little more in depth than mine or what you're trying to accomplish is a little bit more in depth and so in that case I would suggest going out to the internet I didn't figure uh, figure out how to configure this thing up on my own I went out and looked other other examples because there's plenty of them on the web uh, one such example I'll bring it up here and I'm not gonna jack this guy's name up uh, but David here has uh, a website that has a pretty in-depth uh, frame relay network. Multiple DELCs, uh, he's doing multi-point, uh, he's doing all kinds of things in here. And he breaks every switch or every router down. So he's got you know, his frame relay switch, router 1, router 2, router 3, router 4. Uh, and just it's a pretty uh, pretty in-depth kind of thing so I mean he uses a frame relay route as well uh, I think he has some mapping in here somewhere uh, if I can find it 
Let's look up map. Alright, so here he had to do frame relay map IP. Uh, so he's taking an IP and mapping it to a Delsi and then allowing broadcasts. Okay, and the reason he's doing that is probably because uh, he's using a multi point. Uh, and in the multi point mode, you know, we talked about you have issues with uh, using broadcasts. So he's not going to rely on inverse ARP, uh, which is using broadcasts. And instead, he actually specifies if you want to go to this IP address, you need to label it for Delsi uh, 222 or Delsi 333. So, I mean, he's, he's got a pretty good site. And there's, there's all kinds of these examples on the Internet. So I would suggest, you know, you just hop out uh, and find one that uh, works for you, modify it, and uh, have fun. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks.